Okay, so Sean O'Malley versus Jose Alberto Quinones took place to headline the prelims of UFC 248 Adesanya versus Romero, and it was a phenomenal performance from Sean O'Malley scoring himself the first round KO. However, it was only once I checked the stats after the fight that I realized that Jose Alberto Quinones did not land a single strike on Sean O'Malley, making this performance 10 times better and solidifying Sean O'Malley's position inside the Matrix. I know I made a video not too long ago about Kutalaba versus Ankliev and said that Kutalaba had taken part in the Matrix. However, Ankliev landed some strikes on Kutalaba. This is the definition of the Matrix. Not a single strike landed, and I'm going to start by breaking down this video in slow motion, going through the entire thing, just to elaborate how great of a performance this was from Sean O'Malley after two years off, beginning with Brooklyn Wren's tits as she comes down the octagon steps. Pound for pound, best ring girl in the UFC. First of all, I want to say this. Both guys are nervous. O'Malley's been off for two years. He's on all fours. The only two guys I know in UFC history to come out on all fours are Conor McGregor and John Jones. Neither man you want to cross from the octagon with you. If you're a guy and you see another man crawl across the octagon with you after two years out of the cage, you've lost the fight already. Okay? Look at Hotel Alberto Quinn. What kind of walk to the center of the octagon is that? With your feet? Use all four hands. Okay? You don't have four hands. You have two hands and two feet. Either way. Let's get into the fight. Sean O'Malley comes out so relaxed, McGregorish style. Boom! Straight away to the side of the knee. Easy. Speds out the time of Jose Alberto Quinones. Messing up his timing completely. Jose Alberto Quinones has no idea what's hit him, and his knees just bent in the opposite direction. Oh well. And the jab misses from Quinones. Now Sean O'Malley's got to meet him out of the palm of his hand. Now the feints are going to start working, and the feints are something that Sean O'Malley uses in every single one of his fights, probing the opponents. To the highest degree. Let's keep going. Here's another sidekick from O'Malley. Okay. And you've got Jose Alberto Quinones bouncing around, swapping stances. <laughs> it's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I'm sorry. Listen. You've come out in this fight. You said you were going to perform an Aztec ritual on Sean O'Malley. And you've ended up on your ass in the first 10 seconds. It's an embarrassment. And we're going to watch it again because it really is hilarious. <laughs> it's just... Of ways to begin a fight in the UFC, this was the one way you do not begin your fight. And it looks like Jose Alberto Quinones is about, is about to throw his first real punch of the entire fight. Let's see how this one goes for him. Nothing. And that one misses. Sean O'Malley dips out the way. Very nice, but that's a simple dodge. Jose Alberto Quinones wasn't really committing to anything. He was just using a bit of a range finder. But either way, O'Malley has shown us that he is aware of the threats of Alberto Quinones. And I digress. We move on with the fight. O'Malley bouncing around. Kane rolls bouncing everywhere. Look how calm he is, man. There's another front kick up the middle. Another uh, move that he uses very often. Oh, the leg kick. That punch didn't land. I'll take you back in time. Are you ready for this? Is there a slow motion button on UFC Fight Pass? Oh, there is. Oh, there is a slow motion button. I'm going to love this site. Why is that fucking live now thing there? That really does piss me off. Either way. Here we go. Alberto Quinones faking. O'Malley in and out. Leg kick. One, two. You ready for it? Completely misses O'Malley. Doesn't land on the target. Okay. Does not land on the target. As you can see by both men and even Jose Alberto Quinones acknowledges this. If you watch this punch in slow motion, watch Alberto... Oh, he actually did land that punch. Okay, the entire point of my video is over, but I'm still going to go throughout the breakdown. Good punch from Alberto Quinones. Apparently, the ESPN guys can't count and can't watch a fight. And this is the same problem that we had with Paul Felder and Dan Hooker. I've started the video and I can't go back. I can't go back. I'm going to keep going for the video. Fuck, the whole thing's ruined. He landed a punch. The whole premise of the video is over. How can't you count strikes? How have they got it 0 out of 11? That one clear... Fuck off, man. Either way, let's keep going. I'm watching the fight. Alberto Quinones bouncing around. Sean O'Malley changing stances very well. Another nice little feint to see what Alberto Quinones is going to do. And here's where he starts lunging. I love, Al I love the performance from O'Malley. And we see right here another engagement from Quinones. O'Malley throws a front kick, it lands, and Quinones has that style where he's got to get you back. Wing, another big dodge from O'Malley, and he slides out with ease. One thing I do want to note, throughout this breakdown, you will notice that a well-timed kick at the end of your combinations is going to throw off O'Malley every single time. 
And this is something that the ranked guys are going to figure out in the bantamweight division. But as far as Quinones goes, O'Malley can afford to do some of these things. If you watch here, if Quinones was to follow this punch up with any kind of kickoff of his rear leg, O'Malley's walking right into it every single time, okay? He just is. And that's a tendency that O'Malley has that I'm sure he knows he has. And I'm sure he's working on every single day in the gym. I just think this performance was dominant. There's another sidekick just to remind Quinones that he's, he's O'Malley's bitch. That's what a sidekick does. You're my bitch. You're my bitch. Now I'm fainting. Now I'm moving backwards. Now I'm nodding at you and faking an uppercut. Like the weirdest things that O'Malley does, everything works. Every feint is calculated. Everything is to get a reaction out of Quinones. Here's another front kick right up the middle. I just love it, man. I love it. Easy front kick up the middle and he even gestures as well. And now he's back to being calm. O'Malley on the back foot, skirting around the octagon. Big dodge from O'Malley. Enters the matrix once more. Let's see that one again. For some reason, my fucking thing is showing. Everything's happening at once. Everything's happening at once. It's pissing me off. Either way. Here's the dodge from O'Malley. Whoop. Oh, it's so nice. It's embarrassing. Somewhere, at, somewhere Quinones' children are watching this. I think he has kids. Either way, somewhere a member of Quinones' family is watching this fight and they're cringing. They are. Look at the dodge from O'Malley, man. I love it. And he just slides out like nothing even happened. And now he's back to fainting. And now he's back to guessing what Quinones is going to do next. And he lunges forward. There's another front kick up the middle. Something that Quinones has eaten five times this fight so far. Spinning back fist up the middle. Back kick up the middle. Straight to the guts of Quinones. Amazing stuff. And he skirts around again. Very good performance. Here's another shot from Quinones. Whiffs over the top of O'Malley's head. That was a lucky dodge. But his next follow-up, O'Malley stiffs him with a jab and gets out. He's circling. He's moving. This is something Adesanya's going to do against Costa rather than planting himself against the cage. He's going to move. He's going to make sure Costa can't zero in on him. Quinones is Costa. O'Malley is Adesanya. That's a very reasonable comparison to make. More feints. Move your fucking ass out of the way, referee. Please don't get in the way of my shot ever again. I will murder you. Good feints from O'Malley. He's just probing. Just probing. Just seeing what he wants. We've got 40 seconds left of the fight. And Quinn... O'Malley's just having fun at this point, you know? Not a single cane roll is out of place on his head. That should tell you something about how good he is. This leg kick does land as well. But it's at the cost of O'Malley landing a nice little jab. There's a good leg kick from Quinones. But a shot afterwards, easily avoided. Easily avoided. How did they not count that leg kick? I'm watching the fight. I've seen two strikes happen already. There are people who are paid to watch fights and count what strikes land, and they can't do it. Whatever. Two strikes have landed from Quinones so far to about a fucking 50 of Sean O'Malley. So it's crazy. He's putting him in a fucking clinic. There's the right hand. Holy shit, it's too juicy of a right hand. Too juicy of a right hand, and we're going to have to play it back again because that one was very orgasmic. There's the feint. There's the leg kick. You see that feint he just did when the leg kick was eaten? He's about to do the same feint again. You ready? There it is. This time, instead of just leaving it there, he's going to follow up with a massive right hand that looks like it's coming to the body. And he's going to whip it round up top last minute to land on Quinones' chin. Quinones thinks he's back in Mexico right now. That right hand landed very clean. And then a body kick to the guts just to make sure those tacos come out the arse as soon as he's out of this octagon. Here we go. O'Malley doing a nice movement. This is something that Adesanya is going to want to do to Costa as well. No zeroing in. No pinning me against the cage. I'm going to keep moving and I'm going to keep you worried about closing in on me. Because you have no idea what's going to come back your way. More feints from O'Malley. When is Quinones going to try something? He's about to try something. He's loading it up. It's going to come right now. Any moment now, Quinones. I would like to see you throw a punch to prove my point. No, nope, more feints. Here we go. Here's the engagement. Any second now, Quinones is going to man up. Good left hand from O'Malley there. Very good left hand. And Quinones style. You hit me, I have to get you back. This is the Fabricio, Voom, the Fabricio Verdum Stipe Miocic fucking problem. You know, they have this style. These Southern Americans, when they get hit in the face, they want to hit you right back. And this is what Quinones is going to do. He lunges and makes such a telegraphed front kick. That is not a feint. I do want to tell you that. This is not a fainted front kick from Alberto Quinones. This is a telegraphed front kick that he realized is telegraphed and changed at the last minute. Not a feint. And O'Malley doesn't even bite on the feint whatsoever. So it didn't even work. 
Alberto Quinones closes in. And here we go. There's a good feint from uh, Quinones, but O'Malley just moves out. Quinones throws a punch that's blocked by O'Malley on the left side, leaving his fucking chin wide open. Jesus Christ. O'Malley lands back. Here it comes. Right on the fucking side of the head. Very similar to the knockout that we saw with Charles Oliveira versus Jared Flash Gordon, if you remember that one. Same combination Gordon comes in with. O'Malley lands the right hand back. It's the advantage that the taller guy has. They can really turn him with that hook and catch you at an un unexpected angle. Catches uh, fucking Quinones behind the ear. Drops him to the ground. I thought this was a throw in real time. I thought it was a throw. And I think O'Malley thought it was a throw as well. Because you see the level of intensity change. Even the referee's bald fucking ass thinks it's a throw. He has no idea what's going on right now. Look, watch this again. Look how much this doesn't even look like O'Malley's landed a punch. Swings telegraphed, wings it, looks like he threw him to the ground. O'Malley doesn't even realise he's just walking back to the centre of the octagon, getting ring control. Intensity's about to change. Here we go. Now the feints. Feints the kick. Alberto Quinones shells up. And here comes the kick. Right in the middle. It doesn't even need to land clean on the target. It just needs to be... It's embarrassing, man. Get up. Oh, God. It is quite... It's just quite embarrassing, man. I don't mean to be rude to Quinones here, but this is actually like an actual man handling of a performance. Here's the kick. Oh, just batters him again. Oh, have some respect for yourself. And then right here, Luke Rockhold watching this fight is having severe flashbacks... 100% Luke Rockhold's watching this fight because the middleweight's title, the middleweight title's on the line this card. Luke Rockhold right now is at home watching this fight. Remember Yoel Romero versus Luke Rockhold? Luke, Luke Rockhold just got KO'd on his sofa at home. Luke Rockhold is out cold on his couch at home having seizures of PTSD from Yoel Romero. That uppercut was very like... Very like the KO we saw him get hit with. And Alberto Quinones goes down. And for the people saying an early stoppage. <laughs> yeah, this just isn't this isn't defending yourself. This is ready this is readying yourself for sex. This is what it is. I'm I'm done. Have your way with my anal cavities. I don't want any more of this fight. This is just readying yourself for sodomy. This is all it is. Alberto Quinones shells up like an oyster. Ab it's just, it's over. There's no defense being made whatsoever. If your hands are like this on your head and your legs aren't even facing your fucking opponent, the fight's over. There's one more punch. Still no progress has been made. One more for good measure. No reaction from O'Malley. He's... He's weirdly like McGregor, you know. And whether that be a uh, an intentional thing, which I wouldn't blame him for. Listen, if you want to be someone in the world, how about you be probably the most well-known sportsman in the entire fucking world? Conor McGregor. But he is weirdly like Conor McGregor. I mean, from the beginning, and we can go back all the way to the beginning of this fight. The way he even comes out and sets up some of this stuff. He's too much like McGregor for my own liking. Too much like McGregor. Watch the way he comes out here. You ready for this? That's McGregor Alvarez. That's literally McGregor Alvarez round one. Except the sidekick. It's literally the identical movements of Conor McGregor. Watch. The same thing. He comes in. Oh, it, it is. But he throws it off with a sidekick. I think Quinones didn't even realise who he was fighting last night. And fucking Sean O'Malley put on a clinic and just destroyed him. Poor Quinones. That is a shame. I want to see Sean O'Malley versus Montel Jackson next. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Listen, I'm sorry. No matter how you train for a fight, you don't want to be on your ass in the first 10 seconds off a front kick. Like, it's just... It's tough. O'Malley's back. I've been fucking... Subs By the way, before we even get done with this video, Sean O'Malley, I've been subscribed to you on Twitch for two fucking years. I've been desperately trying to get this message out there to Sean O'Malley. I think it's two fucking years. I did not know that it was refunding this entire fucking time and replenishing my subscription to you. I thought I had to manually go on there every month and resubscribe. You owe me £240. Like and subscribe. And I will be getting my money back. Don't you worry about that.